Hello there and welcome. I'm so glad that y'all stopped by my son's graduation party. This is my baby and he is graduating from high school and several of y'all had reached out and said that y'all wanted to see all the festivities and get all of the graduation decorating ideas. So I am bringing it to you here in this video. I'm so glad that y'all are joining me today. Y'all are an extension of my family and therefore y'all need to celebrate this momentous occasion with my family and I. I wanted to share with you what I could and the overall look at the end because my son was happy, the guest had a good time, and we celebrated. It was awesome. So let's jump right on in here and share my son's graduation 2023. Any good party starts with food, decoration, and fellowship. So I hit up my local Sam's Club to get a lot of this. Parties passed, I would make all the food myself. And I knew that I could not physically do that this year, especially with having my YouTube channel. I've not had that in the past when entertaining like this. And that's a job. I'm going to quit saying I'm a stay-at-home, non-working mom because I absolutely do work. <laughs> Start early gathering your decorations. I sourced all of mine from Amazon, Hobby Lobby, and uh, Michael's Craft Store. I will link what I can down in the description box below for you. Uh, some of this I had left over from my oldest son's graduation and I just stuck it back. That's why it's hard for me to ever be a minimalist because... I would have gotten rid of all that and I couldn't reuse it. So I saved a lot in keeping it around. And that was all this silverware, the cups, the plates. I had all that left over from previous parties. I wanted to keep a lot of the decorations simple and sustainable. I didn't want to waste it on vases and stuff like that that would just end up being donated or thrown away. My son's favorite plants are succulents. So we got a bunch of succulents and then these just simple terracotta pots at Lowe's. I painted them with some chalk paint. The school colors are black and gold. So you will see that theme repeated throughout the entire party. And then, like I said, these centerpieces will be sustainable. We can enjoy them well after the party is done. For party favors, I wanted to make a cookie bag to uh, send off with everybody as they left the party. Just a little something for them to take home. So I bought the cookies at Sam's. You can make your cookies if you want to from scratch. But if you are short on time, definitely hit up your local bakery. But I got these self-sealing cellophane cookie pouches off of Amazon and then the cute little seals to put on them after I put the cookie inside the bag that just say thank you for celebrating with us. And it was the perfect little send off gift for everyone that came to the party that day. already had this little tray from my home decor stash so I pulled that out to keep all of the cookies together and organized at the front table where people would come and go from the home. I picked up this card box from Walmart. It was uh, super affordable and I had purchased from Michael's 
blank cards that said words of wisdom for the graduate and I was going to have this by the cookies at the front door so that people could write little notes to my son or advice and encouragement as he starts this next chapter in life. So I'm assembling this. It was super easy to put together and like I said, very affordable. It also gave guests a place to drop any cards that they brought for my son as a nice graduation gift. If you have been here on my channel and part of my YouTube family for any amount of time, then you will know that we are Red Raider fans from Texas Tech, and that's where my son will be attending university in the fall. So I wanted to honor that achievement and set up a little table here with some Texas Tech themed stuff. Being an alumni, my husband and I, and my oldest son attending there as well, we have plenty to choose from for Texas Tech gear. We did not have to buy anything here. These cookies are so delicious. They are little just um, butter cookies, vanilla butter cookies, but they are little mascot cookies for Texas Tech Red Raiders. Guns up. Cute little find to put out for the party. During staging this is when I realized it's going to be really hard for me to record everything. You saw my big pile of decor, of um, graduation supplies, and it was kind of just all thrown together as I collected it over the past several months. So as I pulled things out, I was trying to decorate and get everything in place. So what you see me doing here is not how it turned out in the end, and I will show you the final look of everything. But like I said, that's when I realized I'm probably not going to be able to do a full decorate with me like I normally would. <laughs> in addition to all the decorating and all the food prep, we also had other senior events going on. I had company coming. I was cleaning house. It rained, and so the backyard party we were going to have had to be moved indoor for a plan B. So there's a lot of moving parts, and that's the way it is. And we just roll with it, and we try not to stress out. My boys had gotten me some Mother's Day flowers, and they were the perfect colors to add in here as well. So I used them as part of my decorations. So that was an awesome little surprise there. I hadn't planned on having fresh flowers at the graduation party. So I have had the black tablecloths and gold runners since my oldest son's high school graduation. So I kept those and was able to reuse those. And I just pulled out gold chargers. This is part of plan B, moving everybody in here to have a place to just sit and visit since we got rained out of the backyard. But I found these class of 2023 candies, those butter mint mints are inside there. I found those at Walmart, the little graduation hats and LED votive candles. Those came from Dollar Tree, hit up Dollar Tree at the earliest bit of the graduation season. It gets picked over quick, but they really do have a lot of great decor and stuff to choose from. Then in the centerpiece, I just took graduation photos, printed them off at Walgreens, used glue dots to stick them together over a wooden skewer and just gently poked those down into the succulents. The 2023 pick, that came from Hobby Lobby. So here is the entrance table I talked about. I set this up with the card box and the words of wisdom cards, the cookies. I put my son's senior portrait for the yearbook out here with his tassel 
and then just a little sign stuck in the tulips there and it it just worked really nice These signs were meant to go outside, but since it rained us out, I just moved them into the house and set them up here so that there would be a congratulations and fun celebration everywhere. And I don't know if any of y'all are like this, but I have to decorate the mantle for every occasion. That's why I leave those command hooks up there so that I can just put the decorations up. A few simple things, these self blow up balloons, they're not helium or anything, just put them up there with this little garland and it just was a fun touch for the family room. This sign came from Dollar Tree and I just hung it with my wreath on the pantry door in the kitchen. Just again, bringing that uh, congratulations grad 2023 into the entire space. I ordered these little marquee light up letters off of Amazon. They came in a set and I caught them on a, a lightning deal. So they were not very expensive and just look really nice up here. And my oldest son is graduating from college in December. So a lot of this I will be able to repurpose and use again when he graduates then. A quick glimpse of the backyard and the rain and <laughs> we love it. We need the rain, but wished it could have waited for another day. So thankfully, the rain did not deter us from being able to use our patio. We have a rolling screens that come up and down, so that kept the moisture out of the patio. And I was able to set the picnic table up in here and decorate it, very similar to how I did the inside. I just used instead out here tablecloths that have elastic on them. They're made specifically for these like... Uh, plastic fold-up tables they stay on in wind and I actually got these in September from TJ Maxx on clearance for three dollars each and saw them snagged them and put them back for all these months so this was a great place for my son and all his friends to come out here we had our propane heater going so it was not too chilly out here on the patio and it was just a good time. It was a great space and everything worked out. Again, on the inside table, I set it up very similarly to the formal dining room table, just did not put the chargers down. But you can see these succulents are making a great centerpiece and very sustainable. They will be so nice to use these in our garden or throughout the rest of the house after the party. Very economical centerpieces and table decorations here. I had the cloth table covers, but you could definitely use plastic. You can tailor this to any theme. You could use floral flower pots, if especially for a girl, you know, you have a lot more options <laughs> than you do for a masculine party. <laughs> but you can definitely have a very nice graduation party on a budget without breaking your wallet and still it be very fun for everybody in attendance. My son's favorite fast food is Cane's, and if you don't have a Cane's near you, I'm so sorry, you're missing out. Their breaded chicken strips are really good. So we ordered those, and I put them in this roaster to keep them warm. We also ordered bread slices from there. Then we just served it with chips and veggies. We have pickles. I made a crock pot full of macaroni and cheese and it was it was a good time it you know my son was happy that's what he wants and when you're having a party do that do what the guest of honor loves that's all that matters right is the guest of honor 
So you can see here, I set up again, the serving area with a picture of my son, a couple of little graduation signs I picked up from Dollar Tree, and then another one of those gold satin table scarves and little tiny miniature succulents that were the cutest find ever. For desserts, I just ordered a bunch of chocolate with chocolate frosting and white with white frosting cupcakes from Sam's Club. And then I had the fruit and cookies from Sam's as well. I used my McKenzie Child's black and white. At Sam's, they will do whatever combination you want on cupcakes and cakes. So great. They did all the sprinkles there for me. And then I had... The cupcake picks, that's congratulations grad, I had those left over from my son's graduation party four years ago. Again, keeping things and knowing where you've kept them saved me so much time and money trying to source things and purchase them. This is a little photo booth we set up. I used my ring light and then we had picks that the kids could hold and take pictures with but I don't think anybody used it and my friend said that nobody used it at her son's party either so they're not very active on social media and or maybe this is like an old lame thing <laughs> and outdated I don't know but we had a photo booth Out of respect for everybody in attendance because not everybody wants to be on my YouTube channel. I did not record during the actual party. And then my wonderful, wonderful mother and father-in-law helped clean up. And so everything got put away, the food and all that that night. And then we came back the next day and we took down the outdoor decorations, the tables, we had the party a lot earlier than the actual graduation. So some things I kept up in my home so that they would be nice again for the small family gathering. We'll have the day of my son's actual graduation and we'll do something then for him to celebrate the actual day of. hope that this has given you so much inspiration to set up your own graduation party, to host any kind of party, really. It's just a matter of changing the theme, but the overall idea and principle and setup of it is always the same. I make lists and I keep the list from party to party and I just kind of work off of those repeatedly because it is, you know, the same. Ice, drinks, dessert, meal, napkins, plate, you know, yada, 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 centerpieces, tablecloths. You need that for every party, every shower, everything you host. And it just streamlines and makes things so much simpler that way. So if you are here getting graduation ideas and you are graduating or you have a son or daughter graduating, congratulations to you. I share in that joy with you because as a mom, I know that is such a great feeling of accomplishment that your kids have made it this far. And then this next journey is going to be just even more exciting and new. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed sharing in this celebration, this graduation decorating ideas video. I was excited to get to share it with you. I have talked about it in previous videos for so long that y'all deserved to be a part of it. And I'm most definitely glad that you are here. I always appreciate it when you leave me a comment below. I love talking to you. And when you hit that thumbs up, it lets me know that you enjoy the video, whether you want to leave a comment or not. I know not everybody wants to chat with me down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe bar, become a part of the Uniquely Lisa family, and join in this journey of all things house and home. Until I see you in that next video, I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day 
and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon. Now, I'm gonna go cry because my baby is graduating high school. <laughs> Love you guys. Talk to you in the next video.